Hey first graders, so let's talk about these mixed up sentence papers I sent you. One of them looks like this, it has a big clock on it. Another looks like this and it has a blender on it. And so, um, what you're going to do is, this is similar to some of the things that we did when we were in the school, but you're going to cut along that dotted line on the bottom with your scissors and cut out carefully each one of these words. It says clock, we, see, can, the. And this big box along the top, it says build it. So you're going to take these words once you've cut them out and you're going to build the sentence there. And um, if you want to, in the build it box, you can glue them down, glue the words down. Um, <clears throat> or you don't have to. Um, you just need to build the sentence in that box and then leave it. And then what you're going to do is write the sentence here. So now, there's some clues that's given to you here about how this sentence will start and the sentence will end. And we were working on these things when we left. And the, this is one of the important concepts that we need to get is that every sentence starts with a capital letter. Say it with me. Every sentence starts with a capital letter. That's our first clue. So when we look at these words, we can look for the word that starts with a capital letter. That's going to be our first word. That will be the first word that we put to start building the sentence. The second clue that we know is that every sentence ends with some kind of punctuation mark. It can be a period, it can be an exclamation point, it can be a question mark. That's a clue. When we look at the words, which one of these words has a period after it? The word clock. So we know that the clock is going to be at the end of our sentence. We starts the beginning, clock ends the sentence, and you have to fill in the words see, can, and the in between. So put them in the middle. Read the sentence to yourself. Does that make sense? Read it slowly and listen. Does that sentence make sense? If it does, you got it. You got it and you need to write it just like you built it with the capital at the beginning and the period at the end. If you put those words in the middle and they don't make any sense at all, well then move them around and get it right until you build the sentence that uses these words, clock, we, see, can, and the. And then you're going to draw a picture of it. We communicate in many ways. We communicate by speaking, by pictures, and by writing. So when you're writing, you're giving me a message. This is the message, whatever this sentence is that I'm going to read. If I can't read it because you went too fast and your handwriting is so messy that I can't read it, it's going to be very disappointing. So you make sure you go slow. You make your capital capital. You make your lowercase lowercase. We worked on these things all year and you put your punctuation at the end and then you draw a picture of what the sentence says and draw it first with a pencil and then I want you to color it in because I'll tell you what with these old eyes when you color something in and you post that picture on dojo man it pops and I can see it really well so make do your best work you can do this okay you've got this one with the clock and you've got this one with the blender this is not the same sentence, but it's the same kind of work. These are the two things that you need to do next. This is what you're going to post for me on um, Dojo, and you'll get credit for these. And then um, I've got something fun. I think it'll be fun for you too, for us to do to finish up our mixed up sentences for video three. All right, make sure you're helping at home. 
pick up your toys, put your dirty clothes in the dirty clothes spot, washing those hands, keeping your hands uh, off your face and out of your noses, and doing what you need to do. We're all in this together. It doesn't mean you get a free ride because there's no school. You got to do your part in your family too. All right, so make sure you're doing that. Love you. Talk to you in video three. Bye now.